just ahead on This American Land. Safeguarding Oregon's clean waters. It's part of the DNA of the folks who work and play in this lush natural beauty. The more wild and scenic rivers we have, the more wild fish will thrive in our state and the more economic and social benefit that all Oregonians will receive. Tribal leaders, high school students, and master brewers are among those finding enduring new ways to care for this precious resource. We recognize the importance of using our business and our voice as a force for good, protecting these places. There's some antelope actually right there. Welcome to Southwest Wyoming. It's part of a vast and mesmerizing mosaic 245 million acres of public lands that belong to all of us. And the public have opportunities to comment on how they would like to see these lands managed. From improving animal migration routes to more traditional uses like energy development and cattle grazing, it's a constantly changing balance of environment and economy. This is where our biggest power is used on the farm. This Minnesota farm produces corn, soybeans, and sunshine. Should provide all our power and about 20% extra. So come join our pack. We've brewed up a new season of This American Land. Hey everybody, and welcome to This American Land. I'm your host, Ed Arnett, and it's great to be back with you for this, our 10th season on public television. And we've got some terrific stories for you coming up about the conservation of America's natural resources, its landscapes, waters, and wildlife, and about the people who are dedicated to conservation across the country. We'll start today in Oregon, a state with thousands of miles of clean flowing rivers that its people want to protect. And there's a bill in Congress right now that would do just that, designating many of Oregon's rivers as wild and scenic with special protection. Oregon is a state that is really defined by our rivers. From the old growth forests to the high desert, uh, rugged canyons and the Owyhee River, the Deschutes. We have amazing rivers across our state clean water, outdoor recreation, the ability to fish and to hunt. Rivers are everything in Oregon. Oregon has grown so much in population that we're putting additional stresses on our important critical waterways. Construction near the watershed, adding additional pollutants into our clean rivers are all factors that are impacting wild fish that we need to protect for. The reason we think rivers are so important to the state of Oregon is that it also brings in a number of tourists that's really important for our economy. And if we don't participate in advocating for these places and protecting them, then they won't exist for our customers or um, our business. In Oregon and in the United States as a whole, we really rely on our watersheds more than we realize as sources of recreation and places to enjoy nature and be with friends and family. As far as I'm concerned, water is the next gold and it's a precious commodity and we need to protect it so that generations to follow have the same safe, clean drinking water that we have right now. We're calling it the River Democracy Act. We went out to every nook and cranny of our state, and 2,500 Oregonians submitted 15,000 nominations of rivers and streams across Oregon that they would like to see added to the National Wild and Scenic Rivers designation list. Basically, once you have protected the area, you're not going to be able to ravage it with the kind of economic prospects that disturb the wild and scenic nature of it. What our wild and scenic rivers are all about is thinking for the longer term. 
Kira, Sydney, and I are the presidents of the Ventai Environmental Club and work to support climate legislation and raise awareness for the environment. We decided to nominate Waichu's Creek as a wild and scenic river because we believe that the intrinsic values of our natural watersheds need to be protected. I went to Senator Wyden's town hall meeting in Bend and presented a short speech about why we wanted to protect the river, what it meant to us, and what it meant to our community. We nominated Waichu's Creek in order to protect the important restoration work that's been done there to bring back willow trees and protect beavers and steelhead salmon. And it's also actually an important site to Native Americans. 